Well, here we are um, with the brand new Hornby HST set, the Intercity 125, um, in the classic 70s slash 80s livery, which is personally my favourite, but I believe that they do the do it in quite a few other liveries as well. Um, the box has just arrived. Very nice, very nice box. And on the back, you can see that they've got tons of information about the um, about the class there. Um, loads and loads to read, basically its entire history. In brief, of course, but I mean it's, re it's a really nice feature, it's a really nice touch. Um, with a lovely photo of the, of the loco itself. So let's just open this up and, and have a look at what's inside it. And pull as well. So there we go, nothing else in the box. And it's the typical Hornby um, polystyrene type box. Lift up the flap. And here we've got uh, the instructions for the Class 43 HST. Uh, basically the usual stuff, I think. How to take, how to take the, um, the body off, how to lubricate it, where to lubricate it, how to look after the motor. But still nothing on um, running it in or anything like that, which Helgen and V-Trains and Backman um, seem to do. But we'll run it in anyway. Uh, then we've got two of these curious little cases for the DCC chips, which quite oddly say that you have to put them over the chips, yet the instructions for the chips say you don't need them. So that's a bit odd. But there we go. There's the loco itself, or the pair of locos, I should say, the set. So if we just, I uh, have to somehow carefully poke it out by pushing your fingers through the holes at the back. And gently, 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 out it comes. And then take off the paper like it's a vase wrapped up in a gift shop. And there she is. Oh, that's really heavy. There's quite a lot of weight in that. I mean, that is definitely going to have no problem creating some traction. Um, the quality is amazing. It's just so, so detailed. It's so clear and um, polished. It feels really nice. You can feel the raised lettering. And you can feel all the detail on the top. And you can see what looks like a, a big motor or something underneath that duct. Um, and even like down to the door handles. Um, and in fact, that reminds me. Yes, they do. The doors open. I mean, that's just such a. Do they do it on both sides? Yeah, they do. They do it on both sides. It's just such a nice touch. And then here we've got the, obviously you can't, oh, <laughs> okay, that wasn't on very securely then, but it couldn't have run without it, with it, well, it couldn't have run with it on anyway. We couldn't have run it without doing that, so I suppose it's helped us really. That's just probably to keep it secure while it's in transit, I imagine, but we better check the other one as well. Let's just put that one there. This tissue paper to one side. Oh, hang on there. We're going to have to poke it out again, aren't we? There we, there we go. Oh, much lighter. Much lighter. Much less weight in this one. Uh, in fact, you can see right through the, um, the ducts there on the side. And you can't on that one. Not really. I'd say this is less than half the weight of the other one. Um, but it's just as detailed and the doors open as well. It's just as high quality as the other, but with no motor. But it has got space for a chip because I believe the lights light up and if you're going to DCC it, you'll need to put a chip in both units. But very impressed. Quality. Absolute quality. 10 out of 10.